We'll probably put this out as a surprise. So surprise, we're going to try something new. The worst thing about this episode, neither one of us are going to be singing. There's going to be no singing in this episode. I could sing, I guess. Maybe you could sing one of these emails that we got. Yeah, so one idea that we have had around here since we switched to releasing episodes every two weeks is on the off week doing some sort of different kind of episode. Probably not the same thing every time, but one thing is a mailbag episode. So you're listening to the first mailbag and so far worse. (laughs) But that also means it's our best one so far. We we do get a fair amount of emails. I think it, it depends on the episodes. You get them because I, Tyler doesn't actually read them. I refuse to (laughs) care what anyone thinks, but I do like Mark reading them to me sometimes. This is, I cannot believe the things that people say to us. This is what you miss by not reading the emails okay like so i'm at dinner say with my wife or having dinner with my children i think it's very rude of you to be looking at your phone no it just comes through i get like a little ding no subject which is always a a strong indicator too pissed to even come up with something just says fuck you that's it just said uh fuck you you gotta try harder Didn't even take the time to capitalize the f word or type Y-O-U, it's just you, the letter U, oh, all lowercase. wow. Okay, so here's the thing. We're already assuming fuck us, okay? Like, <laughs> like the yeah. whole point of this podcast is we're assuming that your response is we should go fuck ourselves. Yeah. It's, it's, that one was funny because some of these are like long-winded, you know? Some of them are really brief. I'm going to guess those long-winded ones are mostly from Grateful Dead fans. Yeah, there is an actual Grateful Dead email in here somewhere that is like four paragraphs long. At a certain point, it's disrespectful to send something that long that's also unsolicited. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. What do you think I'm doing with my day? A, I don't care. For sure. And B, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I would rather read anything else. STP, really? Core, a classic? Purple is the classic STP should have headlined that tour. The cult sucked. <laughs> what? In that episode, didn't I say that I knew for a fact that someone was going to be like, core total classic, bro, and that would be their entire argument? Are we creating these people? I don't know. I called that. Who, which came first? I Babe Ruth that one. Bush was mediocre. STP was awesome. Probably the best concert I've been to at Red Rocks. Well, there we go. Anyone who calls the band Bush anything more positive than the worst shit that happened in the 90s, you're high. Bush was mediocre? That's, no. That's the band that has that <laughs> glycerine song. You said we weren't going to sing. Yeah. Don't let the days go, go by. by. Yeah, that's Bush. Glycerine. Also, also, Bush is the band who had that song, Everything Zen. Yeah. Everything Zen, everything Zen. It's not very Zen you singing that way. It's the actual worst slide guitar playing you're going to hear from anyone not named Dave Navarro, who isn't holding a vibrator in their hand <laughs> and the lyrics mickey mouse is gonna have a cow uh, look this i'm just reading what get, it does get better this, there's still same email yes it was not quite done yet what other you paid how much fucking money he, to see this band at, at red, red rocks? rocks he probably paid 60 bucks at uh, least if not more but this is what's funny he says uh probably the best concert i've been to at red rocks so dot 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 give them a break so we're supposed to oh, give shit. SDP a break because he saw them at Red Rocks and it was great. You know if only we had known that. You know what? That's our bad. Yeah. That's our bad. If only yeah. we had known when we recorded the episode. I didn't know. A bunch of emails about stuff that has nothing to do with the show. Do you guys want to go on a date? No. What? <laughs> I can't think of anything that should make any sane person attracted to either one of us based on what we've said on this show. Yeah. Dear fuck face from, <laughs> from, from Tyler. <laughs> oh, I sent says, that to us. Dear fuck face. I didn't mean to send that. That was actually just some, <laughs> some notes that Is I was making. Is fake last name you sent it from? Yeah. I'm just fucking around and actually really enjoy the podcast. See? Um, Tyler, thank you. I just had a few things to say that actually pissed me off when listening which I'm sure is intentional on your part. The only insecure assholes talk about beta males and nerds as much as you do, dude. You do? It says, do, dude. Van Halen is not underrated. There's no universe where Van Halen is underrated. Mm, this one. A little bit more about Van Halen. I don't want to read it. 
Three, fuck you, Nirvana Unplugged was awesome. Oh, Incorrect. No. No. No way. Axl Rose has a shitty voice and he ruined oh, Knock on Heaven's here we Door. Go not really shit. relevant, but I'm on a roll here. Here we go with look, this shit. Look, Tyler tried to be on our show. It's not possible to ruin Knocking on Heaven's Door. First of all, that's not even a song. It's a chorus. <laughs> it's Kumbaya. I cannot wait to do a Bob Dylan episode of this podcast, man. That's one of the worst songs. What does Knocking on Heaven's Door mean? Does it mean you're about to die? Please do. Hurry. The Sex Pistols not knowing how to play their instruments doesn't mean they were manufactured. All right, so the fact that a dude who owned a clothing store made them a band is what makes them manufactured. <laughs> uh, and six, you got to do an episode on Florida Georgia Line. They're a ruining no, we country. Don't. So here's the thing. People always tell us we need to do country artists. I don't think people realize how few fans of music First of all, right. almost nobody actually likes music. Right. Second of all, within that, almost nobody who likes music likes country music. Third, that's not country music. It's, it's just, horse shit. <laughs> it's just pop. I'll tell you who likes that is the bachelorette parties right. who come to yeah. fucking Nashville to get blackout drunk right. downtown. No and fan of music. They don't music. know how to use the internet. Right. So no, we're not going to make an episode of a podcast about those bands. Yeah, it, this happens a lot. Actually, I see a lot of messages because of you having another podcast, which has a lot to do with country music. People think that a we will never do an episode on country music. We'll definitely, definitely do an episode true. on Johnny Cash. I can tell you that, like Johnny Cash has a career because he sucks. The Johnny Cash sound is a result of the producer telling them to play less because when they tried to play, it was not good. Yeah. If Johnny Cash had never flipped off a camera, you wouldn't even know who the fuck he is. So there's a little preview of the Johnny Cash episode of this podcast. Yeah, I just think chances of do us doing an episode on Florida Georgia Line, though, has nothing to do with whether about us doing an episode on country music. It's that no one gives a shit about Florida exactly. Georgia Line. They have a very small, dumb-ass fan base. No one cares. They suck. Okay, duh. It would be funnier for us to do a part two of the Interpol episode than it would be for us to do an episode on Florida Georgia Line. Yeah, the subject is, just wanted to say you suck and you're cringe. Hi. He literally starts with hi after that subject. Just went through your Nirvana and Sublime podcast. In before triggered. Okay, I think people think we know how to speak internet, and I, <laughs> I don't. Like I don't. It's in before, as in capital B and the number four. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Objectively, you seem to base your opinions on being contrarian. Lambasting hits like bad fish and smells like Teen Spirit as shitty songs. Which, yes, they are shitty songs. Yo, this is what he's saying, by the way, and not me. The masses and radio always thrust shitty songs into the spotlight. Not our fault. Yeah, but they would never do that with an entire band, right? Right. Just the song. It would just be like the worst song because <laughs> they find good bands, but right. it's the band's worst song. Sorry. Yeah, that always happens. I'm really sorry about that. All you do is attack straw men. Oh, we're getting we're getting into some philosophy now. Malu dog, much animal abuse. Are you kidding? KYS, kill yourself. That's first of all, not a straw man. Lou dog is real. That's an objectively real thing that we're pointing out that he was mistreated. Lou dog deserve better. Shirt coming. Yeah, I wasn't joking at all about you and I almost couldn't even get into other areas of that episode because of how pissed off we were. We talked well, about the dog a lot. It is animal abuse. It was the first thing I Googled when I knew we were going to do an episode on Sublime because it's legit all I've ever cared about. Mm -hmm. Get that dog away from that psycho. Besides the overall submissive, edgy, cuckoldery vibe that you two beta boys have, attempting to be outrageous by being too cool for these well-known groups... There is a reason why they are well known because they were good. Yeah, that's why. That is the stupidest possible <laughs> argument. That is like saying that BTS, Korean boy band, is absolutely objectively amazing because they're the biggest band on earth right now. Nah, the cream rises to the top, man. It's, that's right. The best bands are the most successful bands. What's great about these emails, I don't know if anyone's noticed this pattern or whatever, but you're telling us a lot more about you then you are saying anything that's, first of all, going to affect my day. <laughs> but also, you have no insight to 
us. You only know what we give you of ourselves. This motherfucker, he's obsessed with being cool. He just said that because he thinks that we are. We don't fucking care, dude. This is our job. You think I think it's cool to do this? Being too cool for these well-known groups. There is reason why they are well-known because they were good. That is the worst. Millie Vanilli. Uh, massively popular, sold probably 20 million records or something crazy. That's like saying the Nazis were right for conquering Europe. It just is a really bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's a really bad argument. You're just a brainwashed troglodyte. Sorry, but that's just the truth. You've just been brainwashed into thinking this shit's good because it's not. Listen to Bleach all the way through. If you know what that is, or some sublime melodies that have see 5K. that guy just did. You don't. You haven't heard of the, my favorite album by my favorite band. Yeah. You probably haven't even heard Bleach, man. Listen to Bleach all the way through. If you know what that is, yeah, I don't know what Nirvana's Bleach album is. Oh shit, gotta go listen to Bleach, and maybe my opinion will change. This is so sad. Or some sublime melodies that have five thousand views on YouTube, and say with a straight face, those are bad. Those are bad. Those are bad. Those are bad. No problem. Sally sells it seashells sucks. by the seashore, and those are bad songs. You probably won't respond as this entire gimmick of your favorite band sucks is to be contrarian for the sake of being so. Not true. Just wanted to say you two F-A-G-S have no taste, clearly make no money on this podcast, and only continue doing so for the circle jerk of your trite opinions and pitiful egos. Why would anyone do that? Good luck with life. You'll need it. Your taste in music is laughable. Queers homophobe is this really what you want to be is this the person you want to be we get so many of these emails also, yeah there is a ton of homophobia in the negative responses to this podcast i don't know if we've ever talked about that on the show itself but uh, a lot of people say the reason why we don't like the bands that we're talking about is because they think we're gay yeah like just process that he actually emailed us right after. It just said, oh, I forgot to mention the Sabbath and Doors podcast. He really listened to all of them. We're cringy as fuck as well. Don't cut yourselves on your edge. Here's the thing. If we were just sitting down and saying things that were not based <laughs> in reality and that were purely contrarian and it was obvious, not only would this person not care, nobody would care. The reason why people listen to this shit is because you know it's true. You know we're right, and that's why it hurts. I got a good one. All right. This one is about our Grateful Dead episode. Objective facts? The people that condescended to him were fucking assholes. No true deadhead would condescend to someone new to the scene. It doesn't exist without drugs. I'm an Ivy League educated lifelong deadhead who saw the Jerry era mean the real Grateful Dead in parentheses. More times than you can imagine, 100% sober. Why is Ann Coulter emailing? Yes, exactly. Ann Coulter. Because of this thing where people hear an episode years later, they think we remember everything we said in it. I do remember you talking about trying to get into the Grateful Dead and people. Yeah, we're shitty about it. Quizzing you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what's this song? What's that song? So I think that's what that person was saying at the beginning. Also, if that is an Ivy League educated mind, yeah, I'm super stoked on having not gone to college. I don't believe that this person is Ivy League. Okay. Not because of them saying it anonymously through an email <laughs> with no way to verify who they are or this being true. Just their typing abilities makes me question. I get that you two are all just uber comfortable wallowing in your negative headspace. So while I'm sure this is to no avail, I'm truly sorry you let your prejudices preconceived notions and cliched stereotypes preclude you from having a fantastic communal experience with spiritual and often freeform fluid music oh. that unites as opposed to divides. What? <laughs> I, I hate, this is why I hate the Grateful Dead. Yeah, man. This what? shit is the worst. There's so much to respond. That person's angle here is essentially, why can't you just convince yourself you like it? And have a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, motherfucker, because I wasn't involved in the MK Ultra experiments like you were, apparently. The government didn't give me pharmaceutical grade LSD and make me like the Grateful Dead. I think this is what happens when you do so much drugs. You're convinced that you were sober the whole time. Of course it is. That shit pisses me off so bad. 
do not want to listen to the Grateful Dead. I do not want to sit there and listen to any band drone on for 20 minutes and sober. You're a psychopath. No way. There's no such thing as a person who has access to an internet connection and enjoys everything in life. So for someone who is a fan of the Grateful Dead, and this is very common to fans of this band, mm -hmm. to think that you just simply couldn't make yourself like it. There's no possibility of the person who sent that email being a fan of everything that they come across. They may like to think of themselves as some sort of Buddhist monk or whatever, but if they're on the internet and if they're clicking play on it, they don't like our podcast. Yeah. Why can't you just convince yourself that you like our podcast? Yeah. Same logic. Yeah. Why can't you just yeah. convince Get yourself out of your negative headspace? Just convince yourself yeah. that you have had the best time listening yeah. to this yeah. and convince yourself that you'd be happy to go fuck yourself like I'd want you to do. Perfect. Strap your preconceived notions towards us and your cliched stereotypes towards us. Dude, can you do any? I, I, I just can't fathom going to a concert, even if a band that you like, and watching them play for three hours dead sober. No way. You're not doing who? What can you do for three hours and not get bored? At some point, be like, I don't want to do this anymore. Laying on a blanket on a grassy hill is just not my idea of the best way to spend a whole day. It's just not. And I get it if that's your thing, but please don't pretend that makes that band good because mm. it doesn't make that band good. Mm. You like to lay on a blanket on a hill for a whole day. I don't give a shit, but that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, this email is sent to... People who do the podcast. <laughs> That's actually a great opening. Do you think that they think this is the only podcast? I don't know, but this one is pretty great. Many questions about your podcast. Y'all seem smart or like learned, maybe. Learned. So yeah. Love your criticisms of every band. Have you ever considered using more facts to back up a statement? No. I want to say less than 10% of your podcast is using lyrics, facts, or life experience to criticize a band, and more like you yelling into a clipping microphone, being passionate, not unlike Jeff Magnum talking yeah, about. Yeah, I was going to say, this is someone who listened to the Neutral Milk Hotel episode. This is yes. someone who missed the joke. Subpar audio quality does not mean that's quality music intense emotional, <laughs> right. emotional thing. content right. or whatever <laughs> we deliberately clipped the microphones to make a joke of that yeah anyway every band you talk about sucks but y'all literally just give opinions with zero evidence and your conviction is supposed to give your podcast life what are you doing right now where are your facts to back up your opinion that that's what we're doing? Yeah. What facts do I need to say that Weezer sucks? I could literally just say that with zero facts. I think Weezer is the only fact you need. There you go. That's my opinion. Done. Uh, this email. Do you guys like emo? No. Obviously, I mean real emo, not scene shit. What, Seisha? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Please say yes. I feel like you guys would. Anyways, it would make my whole entire life if you did a My Chemical Is episode. that what they think emo is? I guess. What the hell? Okay, fine. Whatever. That's whatever. tough, man. I don't know. This email just is, uh, it says Phil Collins, and the email just says Phil Collins. Phil Collins, Phil Collins. Yeah. Dude, do you think that's from Phil Collins? It could be. This podcast sucks. Heck you for ruining some of my favorite bands. I don't like that. That is a quote. That is not me avoiding the saying hell. Uh, that being said, keep it up. In your Neutral Milk Hotel episode, you went on a rant. This is a furry. You think it's a furry? This is from a furry. Yeah. yeah, about people who genuinely like music that they know suck. I am one of those people. This is a furry. I self-identify my music taste as trashy. Truly good music is too wasted most humans don't deserve it. I'd love to see your podcast over the Front Bottoms, Johnny Cash, or Pine Grove. You sound like my mom yelling at me about my music taste. Wow, you've got some weird fetishes going on in this person. I hope your mother does yell at you. I think they hope their mother yells at them too, Mark. We get so many do this band stuff. Such a common thing. Also, every now and then... This person emailed us one, two, three, four times in a row. Basically, while they were listening to the Rush episode, they sent us their... I'm 10 minutes into this. I hope you guys are going to bring up this hit send 10 minutes later. You brought it up, hit send. 
we know. Listen to the thing before you respond to the thing, you know? Yeah. People think everything's a text message now. Longer episodes. You wish our episodes were longer. People, we get emails going, we tell them we need to be shorter. Yeah. You guys bring up new metal every now and then. Radiohead episode, Limp Bizkit is better than Radiohead, but Radiohead is to thank for Limp Bizkit. Black Sabbath, Ozfest, mostly new metal is the worst thing ever. I wasn't really around. He was, this person was born in 1996. Jesus. Wow. If you're younger than 30, you don't get to say that anything is the most anything ever. No. You've been around for 30 years. You don't get to say that. Your opinion is worthless. But I've been putting on some biscuit and corn since listening to think it, it's hilarious. Like, I cannot believe this shit was popular. I've always hated it because I guess it's expected to hate Limp Biscuit, but now I put it in the open mind and it's not half bad. No shit. Told you. <laughs> like everyone hates Creed and I can't listen to Creed without being physically ill. Creed is great. But some of this Biscuit, corn, etc. hate might just cause people to think it's so stupid as opposed to music is bad. Sorry. I mean, this, reading emails sometimes is difficult when they're just all over the place. A lot of the grammar is bad. A lot of the logic is super discount, especially, especially in the emails from people who are legitimately angry or are telling us that they're confused about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. The people who are like, I don't understand. Can you explain this to me? The people who don't get what this is. Their emails are always difficult to get through because it's just it's so scatterbrained. It's unfortunate. I'm not trying to be mean right now. I honestly have nothing funny to say about this. It just kind of is a bummer to read. Yeah. But I'm not going to not make this show just because some people don't get it. Oh, my God. We missed this email. We got invited to this podcasting expo. Fuck that. We missed it. Delete it. I don't remember. Oh, my gosh. I'll never be able to email them back. I just can't imagine going to a thing with a bunch of people who make podcasts. What would we do? I would get drunk as fuck. Fuck is what I would and do. just boo other people. I don't know. I'll probably get drunk what and leave. What do we have to learn? People are going to literally, where you're going to go to a podcasting expo someday and people are going to be going. How do you get people to listen to your show? That's exactly what they're going to say. <laughs> Cannot tell you how many times I've had people ask me how to get listeners. All I ever hear. Make something good. Also, a common thing on our YouTube is people saying, nobody likes your podcast. It's obvious because nobody subscribes or whatever. It's like, yo, we have this. First of all, is, is YouTube. We have no videos and we have over 2,000 when they're recording this subscribers with zero videos. It's great, too. These are often the same people who are yelling at us that we need to do more research before we start talking the shit that we talk. And yeah. they're telling us how inconsequential our show is without doing any how research. How many people are not listening to our episodes? What bands we should do episodes on if we want to make a real podcast with this idea, have it really be good. You should do episodes on bands like this, not the bands you're doing episodes on. As if they can see the data that we see and are basing our decisions on. Yeah. We are making informed decisions and it's kicking the ass yeah, if of you, shows that are on fucking clear channel. Yeah. There's times when we release an episode that the only thing beating us in the music category is literally stuff that is iHeartMedia. Some corporate back. Yeah, Spotify exclusive. We're one of the three biggest independent music podcasts, no question. 100%. No question. Very rarely do things that are independent beat us. There are a few. Actually, maybe... Maybe we shouldn't tell people who don't think that we have listeners that we have listeners. Maybe we should just let them go on thinking that no one's paying attention to us. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's for the best. We can get away with it for longer if people think no one's listening to this shit. Yeah. Now that we've sold a bunch of shirts, maybe people will start emailing us about like people responding to them wearing our shirt. We get tagged in posts all the time, I see. Yeah, if you get a shirt, you can tag us in it. I want to hear the stories. Oh, I definitely want to hear some stories. I bet it's a lot of people laughing at the shirt. I bet when you're walking around in a shirt that says your favorite band sucks on it, you get a lot of people who aren't dumb as fuck going, that shirt's funny. I hope. It's also probably a conversation starter for people that maybe don't want to have conversations. You know, you're talking to someone who normally wouldn't start a conversation with someone. Right. If you're a single person and you're someone that goes on dates, you should buy a shirt and wear it on a date. Mm -hmm. It's a great litmus test. 
It's a great conversation starter or ender. It's a great way to figure out right away. Oh, this person I'm going on this date with his favorite band is Weezer. Text your friend. Hey, uh, can you call me in a minute and tell me that you really need my help? Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. I guess the longer we do these, as it gets easier to kick episodes like this out quickly, we can tease the shins. Or maybe I could do that in an outro like I do on the main episodes. Yeah. That's the mailbag episode. The next episode is on the shins. Stick around like it's a comedy club. That's one of my favorite things that opening bands do is they're like stick around for the headliner. Yeah, like someone's going to leave. Who do you <laughs> who do you think sold the ticket that I bought? Yeah, okay band that played the arena with the lights on sure we'll stick around so yeah we'll we'll do this again for sure but what we need you to do is we need you to email us info info at yfbspod.com please try harder than just fuck you for real like say something that's gonna make me laugh at least yeah at least entertain us a little bit but we put effort into this or we upload all our episodes to youtube yeah even better so what you could do is go leave a comment on a youtube video because that's where all your friends hang out if you're the kind of person who wants to send us an 18 paragraph letter about how wrong we are about something you have so many friends that you haven't met yet in the comments it's so many people who are just like you they can't spell they don't understand logic punctuation you're gonna love it some point we're gonna definitely read your youtube comments probably would do that in a youtube video i would think subscribe to our youtube we'll have to put out the audio of that oh, for too, sure yeah. we'll release it as a podcast too but you need to subscribe to our youtube and feel free to leave us comments there youtube is a cesspool of shit that is one of the worst possible websites on the internet. I'm going to need to be drunk or something when we do the YouTube response. Yo, sure. Because yeah. people say horrible things. People say truly terrible things yeah. in YouTube comments. I don't know what's happening or what the deal is. Horrible people. I don't understand. People think that we're bad people for doing this oh, show. No, I'm a saint. So yeah, I guess that's the mailbag episode and we'll be back in about a week after you're hearing this with an episode on fill in the blank band. I don't know who it is by the time this comes out. It's the shins. Yes, you'll find out when we get there. Anyways, uh, if your favorite band is any band, your favorite band sucks. <laughs>